hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a purchase or pass video there have been so many new makeup releases this week alone and we're going to talk about them so let's go ahead and get started so the first release we're going to talk about is from suva beauty so finally after years of asking they are giving us a cake liner palette which is amazing I do own two cake liner palettes and they're from Midas Cosmetics. I love them. But the one that I'm really interested in from Suva is the UV Bright Neon. So I don't have neon type cake liners. So a girl could always use that, especially going into the fall, winter time. I know it's weird, but like the colors are really gorgeous. Like there's a bright orange a bright purple perfect for halloween and then i like to use blue in the winter time so i would definitely get a lot of use out of this palette alone and of course they have the pastel one which i think is also gorgeous but i already own a pastel cake liner palette these do retail for 30 dollars each which is not a bad price at all so that's that's really nice Next release we're going to talk about is from Colourpop. This is their Sandstorm collection. I did pick this up on launch day and I'm waiting for it to ship. But an, unfortunately Colourpop is going under fire over this collection. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys want to see a review on that or not. I did pick it up so if I get it, let me know if you want to see a review. I'll definitely do that for you guys. I do know that they're going to change the theme and the names of the packaging in the next production, which they did say. They have a lot of gorgeous things in this collection. I did pick up a lot. So the next thing we're going to talk about is from e.l.f. and they just released three ride or die lip balms. I have the original four lip balms right here. I love these a lot. They're very moisturizing. I love using them as like lip matte. Well, I like using the mint one as lip mask and the other ones are really great too, but they have a tint to them. So that's why I use the mint one at night. And they just came out with three more shades. They have grapefruit goals cheeky cherry and pumpkin spice latte i did pick up all three of those so the next place i want to talk about is also from ColourPop. first of all this morning which is as i'm filming this it is september 25th they sneaked peek this photo right here i knew exactly what it was i was not expecting this i was thinking they were, were going to do another villains collection but nope, it's Hocus Pocus, and everyone was like, show us the palette, show us things. So the next thing they sneak peek was the packaging. And I was like, okay, you guys are just really teasing, and you, like, come on, show us what it looks like. So finally, I didn't think they were going to do this all on the same day, but they did. And they finally showed us the inside of this collection. So of course, it comes with the eyeshadow palette, three lip kits, three pairs of lashes, three gel liners and two glitterly obsessed looking at this i'm definitely going to purchase i just oh i just wish that the lip kits weren't all reds but i am gonna purchase one of those of course this comes out september 30th so i'm definitely going to be buying okay so the next thing we have is from beauty bakery this is their butter hydro silk primer this literally looks like butter this is very cute beauty bakery always kills it with their packaging i'm very intrigued by this product i don't know if i'm gonna get it because i need to see reviews on it and see if it's gonna work for oily skin because i don't know but if it's like butter i'm thinking like oily so i don't know if i'm gonna get this so this one is a maybe next we have a collaboration with makeup revolution and the nightmare before christmas I love the packaging of this. The inside is a little underwhelming. It just seems like a, a rainbow palette, but like muted. It doesn't really seem cohesive. So I think this is going to be a pass for me. I just, I feel like if ColourPop had taken this collection, then I think they would have done a lot more with it. But this one, I love the packaging that they did very beautiful i'm just not a fan of the shades in the inside it doesn't really scream nightmare before christmas to me next release we have is from melt cosmetics yes and this is their stack their power their powder sculpt stack this retails for 48 dollars, and i think it's a really convenient stack I don't know if I'm going to purchase this for $48 because I have some great cream products that I've been using that I got for $15, you know, so I just think that that's a pass for me, but I love the concept behind it. I think it's very smart and very travel friendly. 
The next place I want to talk about is from Baby Fat Beauty. Kamora Lee loves baby fat so this is with her two daughters this release has three different sets and they're 45 dollars each it comes with a body spray body lotion and lip gloss i personally will be passing on this launch um uh, it just doesn't seem very intriguing to me and yeah i feel like this is something i can get at like the mall or something i don't know it's just not very intriguing i know some people were really excited about it which that's good the next thing i want to talk about is from makeup by mario yes mario finally came out with a makeup line i was waiting for him to do this because it has been a long time coming and personally i'm going to pass on this i did not see anything that was intriguing to me i just expected more i just i don't know it you know what this it the packaging kind of reminds me of what is that makeup brand called? Own Beauty? No. Cannot remember that makeup brand for the life of me. If I can, I'll put it on the screen. But that's the brand that it reminds me of. So I'm just going to pass on this. It does include three eyeshadow palettes. One is all matte, one is all metallic, and one is a Master Metals palette. Let's talk about this release from Kylie Cosmetics. This just came out today. And this is her blush and highlighter sticks. She came out with new shades. I'm not sure how much these retail for. I want to say $16. Don't quote me because I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to tell you guys a dupe for these right now. So a dupe for this is from ColourPop. These are ColourPop's blush sticks. And they also have light sticks. ColourPop needs to come out with more of these because they're really good. So yeah. This is a dupe. These are $8 a piece. They're a lot cheaper than Kylie Cosmetics. So I recommend these. Next I want to talk about Dragon Beauty. So they just released other shade in their color corrector. This retails for $25. So, so far they have lavender and orange. And now they have Dragonfire Green. I don't understand why they didn't just launch all of these at one time. Um, or all together. It's just like... Now I just know what to expect. Okay, so now I know there's going to be another shade of this, you know. Um, but yeah, I this is going to be a pass for me. I'm just not the biggest fan of color correctors. I do have one that I got for like $4 from the drugstore and it works great whenever I remember to color correct. But this is just something that I just definitely will be passing on. Next I want to talk about this palette from P. Louise and this is a very neutral palette. I've never tried their eyeshadow palette formula before. This looks very intriguing. I love her packaging. Her packaging on everything is stunning. And her mind when it comes to packaging is unbelievable. And if I was creating eyeshadow palettes, I feel like my packaging will be along the lines like P. Louise, no filter, having like curse words here and there, and like really girly gold packaging. That's just something that I would personally do. And I love... I, this is the only picture that we have of this eyeshadow palette, so I don't really get the full gist of it, but if the price is reasonable, shipping is not too crazy, then I might consider getting this because I like neutrals when it comes to the fall time, so I said it. Next, we have this holiday release from ABH. I haven't seen a lot of releases from ABH recently, which is very surprising. I know they did say they were going to cut back on releases in 2020, and they have. So this is the first one we've seen in months, and they are releasing a Soft Glam 2 for $29. This is a bite-sized palette. I think this is so cute. I would be all over this if I hadn't just sent back my Soft Glam palette to ABH because I got it in the mail. I received it, and then when I opened it up, it just didn't I it just didn't look like the pictures and I just knew that the shades wouldn't work for me. I tried it and they just didn't really work out like I wanted them to. There wasn't really many shades that I could personally use in the palette. But it is a gorgeous palette. It just didn't work out for me. A lot of people love this palette, which I'm happy that they do. So now you guys have a mini, which I think is awesome. And I don't know if this is something that they just started for the first time. Oh, and then they also included, so they included six shadows from the Soft Glam palette and two shadows from their OG Nervina palette. That's pretty cool. I want to see a palette of like all their best shades in one. I would totally buy that. 
And next we have Heart Shape Highlighters from Kimchi Beauty. They retail for $15 a piece. This brand, I always see a pop-up on Trim Moods page and I'm always amazed by the prices of the products and how frequently they release. It is so affordable and I think this is really cute. I would consider i would definitely consider picking this up it's really cute and i see one that i am definitely gravitating to which is this like goldy champagne gold with the deeper gold in there i would pick that up i don't know how bulky this is though so that's the only thing i'm concerned about is it like really really bulky and hard to store but it's a maybe for me the last release i want to talk about is from pat mcgrath i don't own anything from that brand of course they are a luxury brand very expensive and they just released a new eyeshadow palette and this has 18 eyeshadows for 78 dollars i don't know if i can justify that price it is gorgeous i would definitely purchase this if it was not so expensive for 18 eyeshadows i just really really can't justify that but i think this palette is gorgeous the swatches are stunning. They look gorgeous on every skin tone. This is really pretty. And these are the kind of shades that I would gravitate to. But that price, I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do that price. So those are all the releases that I have to talk about right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing purchase or pass videos. They're fun. We get to talk about makeup. Let me know in your comments down below. Are you going to pick up any of these products mentioned? And what are your thoughts on them? I'll see you guys in my next video.